out to kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Decent chunk of yardage still left here, second and seven. Play action. Now Wilson. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. He had the start to a season a week ago that everybody wants to have, NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Can he do it a second time? He can. He absolutely positively can because of his skill set. When people adjust to him, he has a great ability to adjust himself and make them continue to chase him throughout the game. That throw good for four. It's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive, he may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to a gain of three, second down. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. They'll run it now out of the gun. Spinning away, and he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves his sticks. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. And now running right through him. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And he'll give it here to his running back. Oh, and now he bowls him over, and he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Stopped short, down at the one. Had the great move, but couldn't get all the way to the end zone. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. A great play there. With touchdown number eight on the year. And his third year on is the punter, Bradley Pinion, to kick it away as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. He 
Bought it four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. And he'll back up a few steps as he'll make the fair catch at about the eight-yard line. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Very tough spot here for the offense to start. Now they'll run it on the toss. And some room to maneuver. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks, too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards down good before there's even a hint of contact. Now they'll run it on the toss. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. On second down, Wilson. And Graham's got it over the middle. And he's able to get out to the 32 right down there. A Seahawk first down. Wilson to his big target, Graham. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Century Link Field after this. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Larry Ridley will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. After that nice game there, for the rest of the game, the defense is going to have to respect the running backs as passing threats as well. Not just play them strictly to run the football. They may be able to get downfield and catch it too. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be a second down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch them close to the spot. before he's brought down inside the five at the four. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got him the first down. But at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. Now it's Wilson, and he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown. Here's Bradley Pinion now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away. And boy, it's another boomer. And it's taken in at the nine. Fights through it. And now running right through it. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And possession will change here with very little time remaining until halftime. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half. It's Wilson. He's going to float this one deep right side. And incomplete on the deep ball. 
So we are at halftime here in downtown Seattle with the Seahawks out in front as we will send you eastward to... Now you folks don't know what you're missing. You're missing Larry Ridley. Ready to get back, though, to this Week 2 matchup. Let's get to it. An update now from Oakland. The Jets out to the early lead. Josh McCown, a single touchdown pass to this point in that one. A reminder, coming up tonight, Green Bay visits Atlanta. All sorts of storylines there, a playoff rematch. Also the opening of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And then on Monday night, the Giants host the Lions. So the Giants play on Sunday night and Monday night to open the season. Yeah, two under the lights. And that is incomplete. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Throwing is Wilson. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think that's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Really tough drive, but that run helped salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. They got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receivers trying to get involved, a good run by the back, and now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at going forward, watching it on tape. Maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. Third and two, now Wilson. And that is incomplete they'll run it now out of the gun takes this to the 32 maybe the 31 and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle it's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Wilson, and it's incomplete. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. From the gun on third down, Wilson. He's got Curse. And he will have a first down at about the 21 yard line. Wilson finding Curse, and it's a Seattle first down. Now they try the right side here. Oh, looting the tackle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 10 more there and another first down. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving and keep grinding the clock. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there. His third touchdown. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for San Francisco. Fielded at the 20. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
Well, look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four, you want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three, now in search of four. Another good run there, and now we're seeing an offense that's imposed its will on a defense. When we talk about that all the time, what does it really mean? It means that the guys in the offensive line, they feel like they can do whatever they want. They're in the huddle saying, run it again. Give us another chance to smack someone and create some space. On the defensive side of the ball, not only have they imposed their will against you, you're almost powerless to figure out what you're doing there, but you gotta keep your spirit up at the same time, and they're taking that too. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. Now they'll run it on the toss. Oh, good move. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now to third and six. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come right up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. First down, Seahawks, Wilson to Baldwin. At some point, the doubters have to just kind of back off with Doug Baldwin, don't they? I mean, we're talking about back-to-back thousand-yard season. Had over 90 catches in 2016. He's going to play with a chip on his shoulder, but he's going to be productive. 2016, also his first Pro Bowl as well. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Wilson. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Pinion now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside. time to the tailback space to maneuver at the 40 and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line time for a break we'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this now a handoff looking right dances by him and they get him down right near the midfield stripe just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one. That's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Now that one good for 16 yards and a first. 
Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. So while the offense has had a big day, no one on that side of the ball is excited about seeing a loss like that. Their goal, to make every play positive. And when you have a bad one like that, your next goal is to not let spiral into more. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to bring up a third down. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team He's going to give a whole lot of credit to the running game the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. That good for 19 and a first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams...